still from our lawmakers, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Gbadabia Mila, has given the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Godswi Lakbabio, 48 hours to publish full details of lawmakers in the Night Assembly who got contracts from the Niger Delta Development Commission and DDC. The Speaker made the call while reacting to a point of order brought under matters of breach of his privileges by the minority leader, Ndudi Elumelu. Elumelu urged the House to invite Senator Akpabio to identify lawmakers who got contracts from the NDDC. Senator Akpabio had on Monday during the continuation of the investigative hearing held to probe, probe the allegation of corruption in the NDDC, alleged that contracts at the NDDC are routinely awarded to members of the National Assembly. The revelation unsettled the hearing as the acting chairman of the committee calmed members who charged at the minister. I want to speak for myself because I know that yesterday, after this barrage of information, my constituents were calling me to confirm if actually I got a contract from NDDC. And my answer is that I never got any contract from NDDC. So in that regard, I feel that my privilege has been battered. And I would like that the Minister of Niger Data once again be called upon to name those who got the contract in NDDC. Oh, this is my fifth term here. I've never once collected anything from the National Assembly. And I know I speak for a great majority of members of this House. Great, great majority. And because of that, uh, I will take this matter and this allegation and accusation very serious. And I will give the minister 24 to 48 hours. And Clark, I want you to back this up with a letter from this house. Give the minister 24 to 48 hours to publish the names the contracts so given, the dates, because obviously these things will be documented. Unveil the companies of the 60% projects that were given to members of the National Assembly. Failing, with, failing which, failing which, this house will bring the full wrath of the law. There are laws in our books. Joining us now is House of Representatives member representing Bekwara Obudu Obalik in the Green Chambers, Right Honorable Lego Idagbo. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. All right. Some are of the opinion that the 48 hours issued to Senator Akwabio is another form of bullying that he accused the committee members. What's your reaction to that? Well, thank you very much. I do not see it as bullying in any sense. Senator Fabio is an adult. He was well aware of what he was saying. And uh, when he made that allegation that over 60% of the contracts that the NDDC has awarded have gone to members of the National Assembly, of course, it's, it's presumed that he had all his facts. So Nigerians want to know who are these members of the National Assembly that have gotten 60% of the total contracts awarded by the NDC? He cannot come before the House and make such sweeping statements without being able to back them up. So it's assumed that he already had those facts. So all we're asking is that he should make public those facts. Um, I spoke to some um, guests on a program last night and they insisted that the minister is not bound to respond to the ultimatum given uh, to him by the Speaker of the House. Do you hold that same view? Is the minister bound by the House rules and laws? The minister is bound by the laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and their laws uh, governing statements that you make that are not true. There is a law of defamation which he can be sued for. They, he came to the house and he took an oath. He was under oath when he made those statements. So if he lied under oath, it's also perjury. 
He could also be sued for that and convicted for that. So he's bound by the laws of the nation to make public any assertion he, he has put forward. You know, he who asserts must prove. So the House has taken him up. Issues are joined. So it's left for the minister to say, this is what I have backing the claim I made, that indeed 60% of the contracts awarded by NDDC were awarded to members of the National Assembly. So I think he's bound by law to do that. What if he fails? The, the speaker threatens that the full rush of the law will be put to play. If he fails, what does the full rush of the law look like? The full rush of the law in this case, like I said, he was under oath. So if he fails or if he cannot prove that actually 60% of the contracts awarded by NDDC went to members of the National Assembly, he will be sued for perjury. And it's a criminal offense to lie on that oath. That's one. And secondly, members would take him up for deformation of character. As I speak to you, my constituents have been calling me to show them one project of NDDC in my constituency. And I have none to show. You know, is it, and they're asking, is it that you collected this money it's like other people have been collecting and pocketed it? So this is a grave allegation. It's not something that the minister should play politics with. You cannot come before the floor of the house and make that kind of allegation if you do not have proof. You know, so it's up to the minister to face the consequences of what he has done. And um, I'm sure the speaker was not joking about it because you can imagine the speaker. He said he's been in the assembly five tenures. He has been leader of the House of Representatives for eight years. And if he has held those offices and he has not benefited, he's been majority leader. He has also been minority leader. If he has not benefited from the so-called contracts of NDDC, I don't know who else would have benefited. So it, it beats me when the Honorable Minister would make that kind of allegation. I would have thought the Honorable Minister should know better. And if he has his facts, let him avail the public with his facts. All right, let, let me ask you this. What is the general impression um, in the general house, not the committee now, on the revelations that are coming from this probe, is it distracting from the purpose, which is the financial probe of the affairs of the NDDC, or do you think everything is working as it should be? Yeah, everything I think is working as it should be, because the whole idea of this investigation is to reveal all the corruption that has bedeviled the NDDC. And you could see that from the investigations, a lot of facts have come to the fore. And it's even, it's, it's bordering when you see the acting MD of NDDC owning up to some of these things as if they were legal. He well, there, said, so, and I so, quote, so that they spent 1.5 billion. Honorable, uh, sorry Hello. to interject, but it seems that, I mean, we're having a conversation now about uh, the minister being summoned to clear allegations about contracts being given to the um, uh, members of the House. We also had the distraction of ex-NDDC um, MD um, Nunye accusing Akpabio. That was a distraction for a while. And then we had Mr. Ponde uh, slump in the House. First off, they walked out because they wanted the chairman uh, to step aside due to accusations. So all of these, aren't they, in honesty, a distraction from the real purpose of the investigation? Because that's what a lot of patents are saying. And there are a lot of people that would want to distract the actual investigation. First of all, for the acting MD to walk out, you know, it goes to show that probably he was guilty and he did not have any answers to give which was clear, went back for the House, because his excuse was that the chairman should uh, recuse himself of this, uh, from the sitting. And the chairman did. The chairman recused himself, and the acting the deputy chairman sat in his stead. And then he could not, there are a lot of people that to distract from him. The House will do what they need to do. The investigations will be complete. They will come up with their report, and I'm sure that Nigerians will support us and will ensure that we implement to the latter the report of this committee. All right, Honorable Lego Idagbo, thank you very much for your time with us on the news. Thank you very much. It was my pleasure.